Today, we are unboxing the new steak ager to make the perfect dry aged meats. It's gonna be awesome. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name's Kevin and it's cold outside. I don't wanna get my smoker going right now because it's been raining. So I need to prepare the best quality beef and other meats that I possibly can. So I'm trying out the new steak ager and I am super, super excited. If you're new to YouTube and you're getting information about this, I'm gonna create a playlist down in the description below. So if you have any questions on how to dry age beef uh, and other meats, it's gonna be in the playlist. But today, this is just to give you all the information about the new steak ager that I find useful, uh, super easy to get it unboxed. And I'm gonna go through it pretty quickly and only stop on things that, you know, might give you a little hang up and we'll go from there. But it's not gonna be every single step of the way. I'll fast forward through a lot of it. All right, a few things I wanna tell you right off the bat. Number one, I paid for this myself. Uh, I wish they'd sent it to me for free, but uh, I know they're a company that's getting off the ground and they're making a great product from everything I've read online but uh, I went out and I, I bought this myself. So they didn't send it to me. This isn't a paid promotion. This is just my review on what I think of the product and how easy it was to unbox. And hopefully in the months to come, uh, I have great results and we'll recap that. Second thing I want to tell you is I did talk to the owner of the company, Scott, super nice dude, really passionate about dry aging and just talking to him, you could tell how much he loved the company and how much thought he put in behind this, like the trestles for hanging. Uh, they have the hooks that you can hang, uh, but he doesn't want to lose any of the beef. He doesn't want a hook going through it. So he created, uh, being an engineer, which I am definitely not, uh, he created the trestles so he wouldn't lose any more potential beef he wanted it all and everything the customer service everybody that i've talked to they're just super passionate about their product and that's super important to me because i want to make sure i can reach out to a company get an answer get help and so far it's been awesome so they do have a facebook group the steak ager family uh, that there's a bunch of owners on there that talk about their product and any hiccups they're having, you can go on and get information about it, any successes or sharing those. So it's a very useful group and I look forward to being a member of it. Uh, they haven't approved me yet, wink, wink, click that button to get, let me in, uh, but I'm sure it's going to be even better once I'm a member of the group. So check out the group. It wants you by your steak ager, if you do, or if you're just checking it out. The other thing I want to mention is my friend told me to buy an old refrigerator and just convert it, right? You can buy all these parts and components and create your own dry ager potentially for a lot less money. From my calculations, it was still going to run me five to 600 bucks for what I was looking at. And the way I work is I want something where I buy it, I plug it in, and that's it, we're off and running. And from all the research I saw, this was one of the brands that all you had to do was just buy the damn thing and then unbox it, plug it in the wall and start dry aging. That's what I'm looking for. I'm not the technical type. I would be stressing out that I didn't wire it properly. I screwed something up. That's why I wanted to go with something pre-made, ready to go right out of the box. Now, the nice thing that really sealed the deal for me was you're able to, this whole package I got with the trestles and the extra humidifier for making charcuterie and really next level dry aging ran $1,200 and some change. They have a finance program, 0% financing for 12 months. So this is costing me a hundred bucks a month. I know that's a lot of money, uh, but if you go to a nice restaurant and you order a dry aged steak, that dinner is gonna run you, hopefully you take your spouse or somebody near and dear to you 
that dinner is gonna run you 200, 250 bucks after you get drinks, appetizers, dessert. I want the dry aging experience in my house and I love experimenting with different cuts and seeing what I can create in my own kitchen. So to me, where I could go out to dinner once a month, spend 250 bucks versus spending a hundred bucks a month for 12 months to create my own experience, it was a no brainer. It was easy to do, click of a button, few minutes. what it take? Not even seven days to get everything. Now, two things about this, uh, they send you two different packages. If you order the ultimate dry aging package, which I did, that one comes from North Carolina. And then the other package that has the refrigerator in there comes from Danby. They're the refrigerator maker. Um, but you get both packages. I got them within a day of each other and now we're off and running. So let's jump right into this unboxing. And then in the next video, I'm going to wrap up this killer Allen Brothers. Look at this thing. This thing's a monster. I'm going to put it right in the trestle. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And we are gonna dry age this for probably 40, 45 days. And we're gonna be off to the races. And I can't, can't, can't wait. Guys, I didn't need to slow down for this at all. It was super easy to put this all together. Right out of the box, ready to go. You couldn't ask for anything better. 
Now, I will say there are a few learning curve things I need to go through. I have the humidification package that came, uh, that I paid for extra, but I wanna do traditional dry age right off the bat. So that bottom unit I installed, I'm not sure if I need to have it plugged in when I'm just doing a traditional dry age. So there's still some research I need to do before I put the first one in. But overall, it's super easy to get going and get everything together. I didn't have to stop for anything. It was just plug and play. So you couldn't ask for anything better. This is a learning process for me. I am by no means an expert. I've done some dry aging in my fridge with the bags, uh, but I don't take the time to read a hundred forums on the perfect way to dry age. All right, so some of the things I'm gonna be doing is part of my process, is part of the way I learn, and that's through trial and error. So some of the things I do won't be textbook dry aging because I'm going to give it a try and then hopefully it works, but sometimes I'll fail and I learn from those mistakes. That's just my process. So don't expect over the next uh, few videos that everything's gonna be perfect. I'm very big on it's food, let's experiment, let's try new things, and I'm not going to follow everything by the book. Uh, and normally I get feedback in the comments of what I'm doing right and sometimes what I'm doing wrong. So bear with me as we do this journey together. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe so you get up to date notifications by hitting that bell and learning with me on how to get better at this in-home dry aging with this new technology. Well, new to me technology. I'm gonna put a playlist right up here of all my dry aging videos and I'm gonna put a video right here. So make sure to check those out. And in the upcoming weeks, I'm gonna to add to those playlists. So there'll be more content and you guys can go along with this learning experience with me. I hope you had a wonderful Christmas because it is Christmas today and I will see you all very soon.